Hi, I'm Rob with Hay Needle. This is a short video on the assembly of the Breakfast Nook Corner Chair. The estimated time on this assembly is around 15 minutes, and the tools you will need are a wrench, which is provided, and a Phillips head screwdriver, which is not provided. Start by opening your box and removing the contents. Locate your instructions. You'll find a parts and hardware list. Take a brief inventory to make sure you have all the pieces needed for this assembly. Using four of our bolts labeled A and one of our bolts labeled B, all fitted with our lock washers labeled as C and our flat washers labeled as D, we'll now attach the seat of our chair to the back of our chair. To do so, locate the pegs on the back of your seat. There is two holes in the back of your chair. Insert the pegs into the hole on each side. Peel back the fabric attached to the Velcro. And in your first corner, add two of your longer bolts labeled as A. Insert and tighten down. Repeat this for the opposite side. Once you've done that, take your bolt labeled as B and in the middle, insert and tighten into place. You can now fully tighten your bolts using your wrench provided. We'll now be attaching our leg, side, and front supports to the bottom of our chair. Start by taking your leg and side support and place your side support in the hole of the back leg. Then insert into the hole of the front leg. Then insert the leg into the bottom of the chair. Repeat this step for the opposite side. Now take your front support and place the pegs into the holes of the front legs. Now take four of our bolts labeled B fitted with our lock washers C and our flat washers D. We're going to insert two from the inside of our chair into our legs. Once you have them tightened into place, use your wrench to fully tighten. And repeat this step on the opposite side. Using our six screws labeled as F, we're going to insert one into each of the areas where our supports meet our legs. Then we'll tighten into place using our Phillips head screwdriver. Once all your supports are tightened, you'll have your finished corner bench.